G'day Minecrafters and how you going? Steve-O here with another video and uh, today I wanted to make a tutorial on a, um, a computer component, uh, RAM. I've tried to make it really simple. Usually RAM would be a lot larger than this and stacked up or st stacked across or whatever. There's possibly even more compact versions out there but I wanted to make a nice simple version that people could understand and for the concept to, yeah, basically for the concept to be understood. Um, I might make tutorials in the future based on other computer components, things like a comparison between RAM and ROM, maybe uh, one on ALUs, things like that. Whatever you guys want, really, <laughs> um, because I'm, I am starting to really learn about um, making computers in Minecraft, and I want to share that knowledge. That's uh, what my channel is about, and that's what, um, yeah, well, anyway, moving on. So RAM basically has three... Uh, major components. The first one is the input which is colored blue because blue is cool. <laughs> the next is the uh, the uh, D flip flops or the D latches whatever you want to call it. No, yeah, D flip flop will work. Um, I have four of them here and if you that's because I have a four bit binary input. Now if you were to use I don't know let's say an eight bit binary input you'd probably have eight of these in tandem um, and then another series of eight, whatever, however many series of eight you want. But usually, what you see here, these four, uh, with a four-bit binary input, there would be an, a series of uh, RAM. Comp uh, I don't know what you call as components um, in series. That there'd be a series of them in series. Yeah, uh, <laughs> there'd be a series of them next to each other, but they wouldn't connect. So you've got those four connected. Then you'd have your next four. Uh, next to that and so forth, but not connected. And the reason for that is because this here is, uh, it, I don't know, it stores whatever you have here when you press the right function and it, you don't need any more onto it. And yeah, so you can store a number of different functions or binary inputs or things like that in RAM um, quite easily. Now I'll show you how this works. The, basi the basics of it is this D flip-flop. The D flip flop um, was created by Benny Cube, and I'll, make, I'll leave a link to his tutorial on the D flip flop uh, because it is probably one of the most compact ones I've seen. Now I started over here making a small series. I've got two in tandem, and I'll show you how to make. Let's add another one to this tandem, just so you get an idea of how it works. So first, we want to make a, a basic T. So we'll make like four and one. And we'll put one there to connect it, and another line here. Now, if you were to continue making it, extending on, put more, you know, out there sort of thing. But we're just going to make one more. We won't make two more. Place some redstone like so. There, 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 and there. So right there, right there, right there, and those two. A couple of repeaters there, there, and there. And now some torches, and then we're pretty much done. One, two, and three. And that's it. Now, the basics of... Oh, no. Four. <laughs> My apologies. And so there's our, our four torches, and, and we have three inputs here. So, as you, can, as you notice, these torches here, these three torches on the back... Let's move that lever. This, the three torches on the back are preventing any of our inputs making a difference. The same is true over here when it's when it's on, um, or how it's supposed to be anyway. That's how it, that's its default state. The default state is um, that it doesn't allow any further inputs to come on unless our write command is activated. So let's um let's choose a value. Let's say. This is a 3-bit binary input, let's say 101. One. Usually usually read the other way around, but oh well, I don't care right now. <laughs> Usually you read binary from right to left, so it would be 101. One. So that's, um, and 1 basically means on, 0 means off. Now as you can see at the back here, no nothing's stored, but we can store it by pressing that. And now it's stored. Now note, while this is pulled, uh, these inputs at the back here can quite easily change, so it's now it's zero zero one. So yeah, be aware of that. While this um, the write function is enabled, 
uh, it resets whatever was previously there. So, yeah, that's the basic um, D flip flop. Now, the D flip flop basically works with um, almost a, a uh, Aris Norlatch setup at the bottom here, and which comes through because this torch goes to this redstone, which goes to that torch, powers that, and depowers that. So this torch stays powered and st uh, keeps this these two. Uh, sorry, keeps this one depowered. Now, because this is off, it keeps that torch depowered. Because this would be our reset otherwise. Um, because right here, that's a that's an arsenal latch. You've got this, and these two is an arsenal latch. So two torches and uh, three redstone. But because of this uh, torch here, we've got a um, a reset line, which is what that is. It allows the um, the RS Nolash to be reset when this is turned off, because it allows this torch to power. So anyway, let's uh, let's move on. I hope you understood that, and hope it wasn't just uh, water under the bridge. <laughs> so combining those, turning those levers into buses, as as you can see, I've got a torch on each um, line of the bus. Now a bus is basically just a series of wires next to each other that go that come from the same source and I guess are going in the same direction. Having two wires ne next to each other but not related is not a bus. Um, well, I guess it, I guess it kind of could be anyway. Um, anyway, let's move on. So we've got, we've talked about the D flip flop. Those levers are represented by those buses, and then the output is basically from these levers. Um, onto this here. So, with a lever, with uh, torches on those, um, there's our output. Currently, it's inverted because those are all zeros, those are all zeros, and those are all ones. You can quite easily change that by placing a torch on the ends of these. Um, so, it's zero, 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 zero again. But, it yeah, it doesn't really matter. And <laughs> you probably better just do it here anyway, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, actually, it'd probably make more sense to do that. But yeah, that's the basics of um, of RAM. Now, like I said, if you were to make a larger system, you'd probably have a series of these in tandem, at which point you'd basically just extend the same bus further along. So the values coming into here, um, you could store, say for example, 1010, and then store that and then the next one you could store 1110 on the, on the next uh, RAM section or whatever and so it's a lot it's a lot uh, handier than just having a whole bunch of RS null latches because you can um, quite easily call on them and use them and things like that and not only this but you could probably also add cutoffs and things like that so like having a piston coming down to stop uh, the output going onto the bus or whatever. It all depends on what you really want to do. <laughs> but yeah, it's um and the best part about RAM is it's um it's so easy to reset. So let's store a value. We've got all four of them are on right now, so it'd be four ones. And they're all stored. That was an easy store. Now if I was to turn them all off, the same lever we used to set now becomes a reset. So pretty handy, and that's why RAM is so cool. Um, it's a lot less cumbersome than some other things, and uh, it's easy to use and make. But uh, yeah, like I said, the D flip flop design is made by Benny Cube. So check him out um, and leave a like on his video because yeah, it is his design, and I think it was pretty brilliant. But yeah, thanks guys for watching. I uh, appreciate all your support. And I'll try to make some more tutorials for you guys. Um, I'm <laughs> currently working on a couple of things for a few subscribers. And I'm going to get back to my um, trivia game thing eventually. I'm just taking a break from larger systems at the moment after my uh, my big game I just made. But um, yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'm Steve-O and I'll catch you later. See ya. Got a little Swedish there. Yeah.